Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to a brand new video. I have a bunch of Dollar Tree DIY room decor and home decor crafts that you can make on a budget. A lot of these cost just $1, $2, $3 to make. I think only one of them is like maybe more than $5. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys later on in this video how to save money on food and cut food waste when traveling. We have a really large road trip coming up, so I'll talk more about that later in this video, but let's go ahead and jump into these Dollar Tree DIY crafts. With this DIY, I wanted to make a really simple, easy, fun coaster for spring and summer, but I'm taking two of these little flower foam pieces. If I layered these two together with a little bit of hot glue, I could create really fun, cute, adorable coasters. You can totally paint these after if you wanted to. To purple and yellow layered together are really fun for summer decor. So here is how this one has turned out. Moving on for the next one, I'm taking one of these plastic trays and it's from the garden section in Dollar Tree. I'm gonna spray paint the outside of it and that way the inside I can still put things in and not worry about like anything scratching or chipping the paint. And then I found these little wooden dice cubes in Dollar Tree and they came with a set of three of them in a pack. Hot glued them onto the bottom. I actually didn't add anything to them but if you wanted to paint them or stain them you could even spray paint them to match if you wanted. Completely up to you. Here is how this turned out over here on my bookshelf. I just have it styled with some other home decor and a little vignette over here for spring and summer and I'll definitely be using this in my fall, winter, and Christmas decor. and be really easy to customize throughout the seasons. Now moving on for the next one, we have a really cute DIY craft piece for summer decor. I am simply taking one of these little beaded ropes from Dollar Tree. It's almost perfect as is, but it's really fun to add a tassel or something at the end. And I had the idea to, instead of adding a, um, like a rope or twine tassel at the end, instead to add a little palm leaf tassel. I used the larger branches for a different project, so I'm gonna cut a like a medium sized one and a small one, cut them off and then glue them kind of overlapping here at the end of the beaded rope. And I just did that at both ends. I think it turned out so cute. I mean, this was very affordable, especially because I already had these extra little palm branch pieces laying around, but so fun and cute. And I just feel like it's the perfect little summer decor accent piece. And here it is styled with that tray that we just made. And I love how this looks over here on our bookshelf. Moving on for the next one, I'm taking two of these planters from Dollar Tree. And let me know if you guys have the planters in your Dollar Tree right now, or do you only have them in spring or summer, or do you have planters any time throughout the year? Let me know because my theory, I'm curious, but I'm wondering if it depends on where you live. And if you live, um, like when I lived more in the north, I felt like we only had these in the spring and summer, but it seems like being in the south that in my opinion, it seems like they might carry them for a longer time throughout the year, but let me know if that's just my opinion or if you've noticed the same thing in your Dollar Tree stores. Now, I just used a drill to make a hole right in the center of each one, and I'm gonna use a very generous amount of high heat hot glue, press these together, hold them really tightly together, and then we have a nice little planter here. Could basically just use this as a, you know, a planter to just catch any water runoff if you're gonna set a potted plant inside of this pot. But I decided to actually put some of my pothos plants that I had here inside of it, so I knew it would need to be able to drain. So when I'm looking at pothos plants on where I'm going to make a cut to propagate them, I find that it's usually good to cut somewhere like around one of these lines or along the line because if you notice on here, you guys can kind of see like this is where it will start to put out roots and these are the these little bends where like new leaves form 
the other end of the new leaf is also where it would form a root. So that's a good spot to do it. You wouldn't want to just do it like right here, for example, in the middle. That would not be a good spot. You want to look for these kind of ends. And then basically I would like take my scissors and snip it like along here and put this in the water. And then that little nub will go ahead and form roots. That has formed a root off of one of those side shoots. So it should form more roots. I'm just gonna put the roots back down in the water and give them a chance to form. You guys can see even on this leaf that I have right here, Try to get this to focus for you. Hold on a second. Um, you can see where right along one of those little nubs, it's started putting a root down. <laughs> and I'm going to set this one over here for now. We'll see where it ends up with a permanent home, but you do need a water catcher underneath it. I just had this little extra plastic dish and here is how this one turned out. Now for the next one, I found these little wooden squares in Dollar Tree, thought they were cute and I would use them for something and got home and realized they would make the perfect little coasters. And I actually had some of these other stickers that I also liked and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. So we're gonna be using a few of them in this video now today. And for the first one here, I am gonna take some of these little green leaf stickers put them on and then also add in some of these little sticker gems from Dollar Tree and then just gave it a couple coats of a nice um, water or dishwasher safe Mod Podge to kind of seal it from water so any condensation from your glass or beverage won't affect the wood. You can add some little rubber sticker feet on the bottom, which I think I got mine on Amazon. I'll see if I can link them below. If you don't want to use that, Dollar Tree also has like this um, cork foam. I also use the little sunflower stickers on another one and I think this turned out really cute and fun. Now moving on for the next one, I always use vases in the summer. I love to have fresh flowers, greenery, whenever I get the chance. This glass vase from Dollar Tree, I am covering it with a little bit of this marble adhesive contact paper here, and it's so cute. I actually didn't even know that Dollar Tree had carried marble contact paper like this, so I was really excited when I found it. Just cut that down to fit, and then you can leave it like this. It's actually really pretty, or if you want to embellish it a little bit more, I thought that these little rhinestone sticker gems would be fun. This set actually had some little pearl stickers in it so I went for something a little different I tend to use more warm colors and tan and gold but on here we have the white gray silver and we went a little more cool toned with this piece of decor let me know what you guys like better are you more into gold decor or silver decor more like warm tones or cool tones let me know how you decorate in your house or what you just prefer overall in general and here here is how this one turned out. Moving on for the next one, I found some of these cute little, I don't know if they're tea light holders or like a votive candle holder, but there's these little round ceramic pieces. They're flat on the bottom so you can stack them or set them down individually. I had the idea to stack some of these so I'm going to stack a set of two and a set of three and you could totally just leave them like this. They're kind of cool like that but I decided to take it a step further with a quick spray of metallic gold paint and then I immediately wipe it off with like a paper towel or a rag and that way you're kind of left with where the gold paint gets in all the grooves and you just try to wipe all of the the top texture so the white will show through again and you'll just get the hints of the gold that kind of got trapped in all of the little veining and crevices of the design. I feel like this turned out really nice. It's very unique. It almost reminded me a little bit of like 
snake skin or something. Let me know what you guys think of it. Would you have left them just white ceramic or do you like them with the gold texture? Now moving on for the next one here, I had this little sign for a while and I, I knew I was going to do something with it but couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do and then I had an idea for something that would look good on the shelf here in our kitchen dining room area so I just simply removed all of the papers that came inside it, cut out some white paper to use as a background for this piece of art and then I also had some of this white burlap um, can or is it canvas like I don't know what this is it's it's almost like a white burlap type rougher material but I got this in Dollar Tree a roll of it and we're gonna just trace and cut out a piece place that on top of the white paper because if you didn't you would see through it a little bit so it's kind of optional to put the paper behind it but I do recommend it and then I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those other stickers that we had left over from before, the thankful one. It looks really cute like this. You could actually leave the black letters with the black frame. However, I decided to add some of the green leaf stickers on here, which is totally optional, and to also spray paint the frame gold. Here is how the whole thing came together. And I really like how it looks over here on our floating shelves in the dining room. Moving on for the next one, I took two of these candle holders from Dollar Tree, spray painted them metallic gold, and they are ready to go now. We're just gonna actually flip them over and the bottom sides of these candle holders are the perfect width to put these little votive candle holders that I found in Dollar Tree on the top. And I thought these were so pretty with all of the little green leaves on here. It's just they have like a very spring summer theme and I thought it would just make some beautiful decor for summertime. You could definitely use them into the fall if you wanted. Candles always make things extra cozy. You guys know that I'm gonna be putting my LED battery candles in here, so much safer. All I did was hot glue these together and I love how this one turned out. Now, moving on for the next one, I found these little vases that you get for $1.25 and Dollar Tree, and they each have a beautiful peony flower. They had a few different colors. I picked out this yellowy, creamy color one, and also the one that's a pink, and we're gonna go ahead, and I think I used maybe nine of them, and I just staggered them going all the way around this wreath frame. So this one is more of like a pressed wood wreath frame. Um, I guess it's like the MDF material, but Dollar Tree also has a variety of wreath frames, wreath forms, so you can choose either, you know, styrofoam or metal or get whatever kind is going to work best for you. And I just used a generous amount of hot glue to glue these on here, and they filled it in so well. I think this looks beautiful. I actually flipped it over after and then added more hot glue around the back, anywhere that it looks like the leaves or the flowers needed a little extra support on there. And here is how this one turned out. I think it would be so beautiful on the front door, although honestly, I'm probably gonna keep it indoors just because if I wanted to put it outdoors, I should have probably picked a, like a metal wreath frame or maybe given this one a coat with some of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge just to like make it a little bit more waterproof, if that makes sense. And because I didn't do that, I feel like I should maybe keep this one indoors in order to make it last, but no matter which way, I still love how this one turned out. And we are not gonna waste those little cups either. So the little ceramic cups that those peony flowers came in, we can decorate them and we're gonna be using them as part of our centerpiece decor for my daughter's graduation party. And I simply decorated them using some fabric paints, which were easy and fun to do. You can do gold dots, you can do designs on there. Um, you could paint them, you could even just spray paint them if you want to be a certain color or match your theme. You could add some little rhinestone stickers on here like I did with this one. And I added in some of the other Dollar Tree flowers that I had um, with pinks and whites that were going to fit with the flowers and color theme that my daughter wanted to have so we're gonna add these into the centerpiece and table decor at her graduation party 
So we have a road trip coming up. We're gonna be driving up to Connecticut to visit my parents and family, my sister. We're bringing the dogs with us and it's gonna be a whole adventure. I'm definitely excited about it with the garden and some of the fresh veggies that we've been getting in. I don't want anything to go to waste. So I'm trying to think of like ways I can really I guess use them up in the most practical way because sometimes you just can't eat everything in the last few days. So before getting into using up ingredients, go ahead and think about what you might want to take with you. So I'm going to be taking bananas, clementines, you could take apples, um, even things like grapes or blueberries maybe on the trip if it's something you want to bring in the car for your car ride. We're going to bring hummus and guacamole. So any veggies that I can chop up like carrots or definitely red peppers and cucumbers are things that could spoil while we're away. I'm going to slice those up and have them ready to just either eat as a snack or we could dip them in the hummus or in guacamole and enjoy our produce that way so none of it goes to waste. I always save my leftover takeout containers from something like Chinese food or any like plastic containers that you might get from like a takeout food and they work out really great to be able to pack for road trips. You either rewash them and use them on your trip back. Like I don't really want to take my glass ones on the road trip. There's just too many, a lot of things that could go wrong on a road trip with kids and dogs and glass containers. So I love to take the plastic ones and then sometimes I don't save them to reuse. I actually use them to just put trash in if you have sticky wrappers or fruit peels. It just, especially traveling in the summer, it keeps your car not smelling like old fruit <laughs> so any kind of like messy sticky wet trash i just can put in the container and then we can just throw it away at like a gas station or wherever on the way i'm gonna also make some chickpea salad for the road and i love to do this with chickpeas adding in carrots celery onion i like to add mayo mustard and garlic powder into mine as well but it's great to eat with like pretzels tortilla chips or you can dip anything into it really but i think what i'm going to do is actually use up any baby spinach i have and make kind of like salads for the road and just put a nice generous scoop of the chickpea salad on top of a bed of lettuce or spinach and kind of just make some to go salads for us. So once you've got everything that you plan to use up in the food that you're gonna be taking on the road, you can think about what else is left that you need to use up. And so for me, I had a lot of tomatoes coming in from the garden, so I wanted to go ahead and make some sauce. And I did have to use a few canned ingredients to add in here, but I was able to use up a couple of onions that I needed to use, as well as all the tomatoes that I had sitting on my counter. And I even have a lot of basil right now growing so much basil it's starting to flower and rather than let it all go to waste i took a bunch of the basil and we're, we just added that into the sauce as well and i even added some lentils in so you could puree some carrots and squash if you have that and you want to kind of cook them and puree them and add them into the sauce I've done that before and it's really good to, you can add extra veggies in there. Um, like I said, the lentils were really good. I just did like a half a cup in the pot, so it wasn't a whole lot, but it added some taste and texture and a little extra protein. And it gave us a dinner before traveling. And then I had an extra container of sauce that I could put in the freezer. So once we get home, we have kind of a quick dinner pretty much ready. I can just pull the sauce out of the freezer and cook some pasta while we unpack. You can also bake a bread and we th always think of banana bread. I feel like that's the, the main fruit bread people think of, but Renee's made an apple cake. It was kind of like a, almost like a banana bread, but made with apples. You could also use up pears in there because pears can basically be used in place of apples. Do not underestimate a good zucchini bread, whether it be that chocolate zucchini bread or just the regular zucchini bread. They are delicious. I think my mother-in-law was just telling me she actually likes that one a lot more than the banana bread so so the last big one I think would be soup and I love this one because you can add your basics right but anything else so your basics like onion celery carrot maybe some garlic um, but you could add in anything else that you want whether you want to chop up some squash to add in you want to add um, leafy greens kale spinach collard greens if you want to chop tomatoes up if you've got those and you just want to throw a couple in there there's just so many things that you can add into your soup 
And if you want to, if you've got extra like rice or pasta, or quinoa, grain, anything like that, you can put your soup over it and enjoy a meal that way and use it up. You can also just pop the soup in the freezer and again, have another meal ready to go when you come back and that way, none of your veggies have gone to waste. So let me know down below, what are your food saving tips? How do you cut food waste and save money on food while traveling? Let me know down below. I would love your tips. Like I said, we have this big road trip, thousand mile road trip coming up and definitely would love to hear all of your best tips and advice. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, wishing you a beautiful, blessed day. I will see you guys soon in a new video.